Hi guys, and thanks for watching Car From Canada on this beautiful Worship Wednesday. And I thought I would just share a little bit about our trip. So we did go to Orlando for, well, I guess, two days of travel, five days of fun, so seven days. And I would say I would give it a seven out of 10 if I had to rate it. Um, some of the highlights, we loved uh, Big Thunder Mountain. Going on that as a family was really fun. And um, the Haunted Mansion was awesome and Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, Diagon Alley for Harry Potter was amazing. We just loved that. And Butterbeer was fun and Chocolate Frogs. And the Dragon, of course. And just uh, looking around was just fantastic. And then Star Wars Day. Absolutely loved it. And saw the Millennium Falcon and saw um, an X-Wing fighter. And we saw a cosplay of Mando and Grogu and Stormtroopers and Kylo Ren and Chewie and BB-8 and Ray, and it was just fantastic because everything just looked like you were enveloped in the world um, for both uh, Harry Potter and for Star Wars. So we also went through some difficulties. Um, we lost a couple of phones and were fortunate enough to find them. Same thing went with some credit cards. There were some very lovely people that returned things to us or, you know, we went back to the place and found it. So that was great. Um, I did have some difficulty with a man, a very belligerent man. Um, you know, I was just, we were in McDonald's and I was trying to um, buy him his coffee and he was, you know, I can buy my own damn coffee, leave me alone. And I said, okay, that's, that's fine. And um, I was ordering and the staff was a little bit distressed with him too. So um, he came around and said, you know, thanks for the offer anyway. And um, I just went to tell some of the employees how I appreciated their store, how clean it was. Um, how the management was doing really well and the service was great and he apologized for, for it being a little bit slow because the drive through was backed up and um, just the importance of being kind to other people I think is very important and um, yeah we just I guess there were some expectations for the trip of what people wanted to do and it was there were six of us you know so the four of my family plus my parents not everybody got to do what they wanted to do and um you know people were hot and tired and cranky and we have a we rented a lovely condo we could return to which was fantastic so um both blessings and distresses i would say and um you know i don't want to focus on i guess my bis biggest disappointment was the fact that on Star Wars Day I had the heat stroke from the day before, which was my own fault for not drinking enough water. And I didn't know if I could even go because I felt, you know, hot and tired and ready to pass out and exhausted um, by noon. And so mom, dad and I went home. Uh, we all went home and had lunch and my youngest daughter was really disappointed. But the blessing that came out of that was that my husband took my kids back and they had a fantastic time. Um, I of course was disappointed because, uh, what they wanted to do was exactly what I wanted to do on that day. Um, you know, they got personal pictures with Chewy and with BB-8. Um, they did some of the Toy Story rides and they saw the Toy Story soldiers marching. And, um, yeah, they just had a really good time. And I'm really glad that they did because it rounded out the trip so that they, got to have a nice relaxing day and I needed to recover and drink lots of Pedialyte and I needed to be near the bathroom and um, I guess you know sometimes things don't work out the way we plan them to but there are blessings in disguise because the girls got to spend a really great afternoon with their dad and I needed the rest and so did my parents and so I was feeling kind of distraught and distressed and um I watched a really good sermon this weekend from Life Church, and my husband's trying to sneak up the stairs. Um, and Craig Rochelle had a guest speaker, and it was appropriately titled "Don't Quit." And sometimes, you know, I get depressed like the rest of us, and 
just thinking about my health not being great and then you know the trip not being as good as I hoped and same thing with Easter and just um and Lisbon even um that God is on your side that we were not created to not have any pain and suffering in this world because it's a sinful world and what do we take out of this that God is for us and not against us that we have work to do that we reap what we sow um that kindness counts and to be anxious for nothing because he is always with us and most importantly I have learned that he weeps with us and he cares for us he does not want to harm us he wants us to return to him life is hard and being a Christian is hard but it's worth it because the blessings far outweigh the bad circumstances that we all go through sometimes and um, I'm just here to let you know that it's okay even when it's not and that circumstances do not have anything to do with God's goodness he's good all the time regardless of what you're going through and I feel your pain whatever it is because we all have it if you don't have pain then you're not really living a real life because whether it's trouble in marriage or divorce or loss of a loved one or loss of a job or mental problems health problems financial problems loneliness tiredness trouble at school trouble at work the list is endless and the point I want to make is that perseverance through trial equals refinement by fire equals giving us the fruit of the spirit that we need to encourage others even when we ourselves need the encouragement and if you are an encourager like me and a gifter that's what I do it's sometimes hard when we ourselves are not encouraged and when we ourselves are not gifted um I'm I, by that I mean is I like to write cards and give people gifts. That's one of my, my gifts is to gift people. So we must always remember always to cast our cares on him because he cares for us. So where does our strength come from? Our strength comes from the Lord. And at our weakest, he is at his greatest. Because if other people can see that we can still function and make a difference when we are at his great, our weakest, that shows how great his strength is through the Holy Spirit working through us. So that is my encouragement for you this Worship Wednesday. And I am glad that I got to go to Disney World and experience that with my family. That was a blessing. And... I just want to encourage you this day that you are not alone. Thank you for watching Car from Canada this wonderful Worship Wednesday. And don't forget to let your light shine. And check out Life Church online. They have really good sermons. Craig Rochelle's amazing and he's got some excellent guest speakers too. Have a great day. Shine your light.